जय श्री माता जी ऑनलाइन उपस्थित सभी साधकों का हम स्वागत करते हैं सर्वप्रथम सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेंगे वी विल हैव कलेक्टिव बंधन तीन महामंत्र और श्री गणेश मंत्र का उच्चारण करेंगे
लक्ष्य केंद्रित करेंगे हमारे सहस्त्रार पर श्री माता जी कृपावंत तो होकर हमें निर्विचार अवस्था प्रदान कीजिए इसी अवस्था में हम परम पूज्य श्री माता जी की अमृतवाणी को ग्रहण करेंगे एंड यू शुड नो दैट द इसेंस ऑफ गुरु इज श्री गणेश द इनसेंस यू मस्ट बी नोइंग द स्टोरी ऑफ अ वेरी डिवोटेड वाइफ faithful wife of a sati her name was anasuya and she was so religious and so dedicated that they say that the wives of all the gods brahma vishnu mahesha got very jealous of her so <coughs> they told their husbands that you must go and test her if she is really a woman with chastity or not so all of them came down as sadhus dressed up like sanyasis and she said she wanted to serve them give them something they said no we want to have food she said all right come and sit down she cooked food for them so they said no we will not have the food unless and until you take out all your clothes we'll only have the food if you take out all your clothes she said is it so she said yes so she made them into little little children three little children and then she became nude because innocent doesn't understand anything about and then this she joined them together their three innocence was joined together 
and they got their guru pad that's how the adi guru was created so the first thing is that if you want your guru pad you have to be innocent innocent is a very vague term very vague and difficult to really understand what is innocent but what is the nature of innocence that we can understand from shri ganesha's image first of all he is endowed with wisdom and he puts wisdom into us it's a nice thing now in modern times we have discovered genetics and genetics determine our behavior and our races it is he who puts genetics in us he selects and puts it within us our genetics and when he puts wisdom in us then we are wise there is definitely a genetic of wisdom which is lacking as we can see very clearly in many races they have no wisdom they do things without wisdom they do things just for their destruction destroying their society they may call themselves the highest society highest races whatever it is you may brand yourself with anything but you can see from their behavior they are that they have no wisdom at all so he is the one who puts that wisdom in us in some people who are not yet evolved certain races are not yet evolved to that extent this wisdom is like apart from that this wisdom gives us the sense of freedom so we keep aloof from all kinds of intoxicant all kinds of bad habits we don't like to look at nudity it can never become lifestyle of people who have wisdom never we don't indulge into extra marital nonsense whatever is absolutely in the center which is dharmic we accept so we can see that the seed of wisdom put into us makes us dharmic people when we grow automatically we are automatically dharmic we don't kill others we don't aggress others we don't torture others we do not occupy anybody else's land or house or take away anything another's property or another's things this wisdom comes to you through shri ganesh in short he makes you absolutely ready for self realization it is he only ultimately who looks after us at the time of our nirvana at the time of our realization because he stops all other activities of excretion when you are ascending into new realm how you have seen i am sitting here for 9 hours 10 hours once i sat down for 18 hours together didn't go at all even to bathroom because it is he who stops all these activities even when kundalini is rising it stops so this wisdom is innate 
just happens that when the kundalini is rising he becomes uh manifesting in us i mean i should say he makes us like a child and that's what christ has said that you have to be like children if you have to enter into the kingdom of god so you become the child that time you become a child and with the kundalini rising that wisdom then comes into your brain because he's sitting on the kundalini itself he is the power in the kundalini he gives wisdom in the brain once you get that wisdom you drop out all bad habits all your attachments which are wrong all earth harmic things that you do everything drops out he changes your genetics are changed the genetics of sajogis are all of them will be the same about the same i would say and the genetics of other people would be different maybe indians might have closer to it because indians normally are very wise people they won't i mean i would say if you see the superiority of races from wisdom point of view indians are very wise they won't just do some nonsense kind of things at all no question even the children i have seen children from the west when they go to india they went for the school they are doing all kinds of destructive things to themselves nobody could understand once they jumped into a dirty pot they got malaria then they ran out of the house uh, of the school and came out and went to the sh- roads went to the shops so they put a gate when they put the gate the newspaper is criticizing us there's no sense in it every school has a gate so these all unwise stupid things they do because they lack wisdom a child who has wisdom is extremely cautious he understand the importance of his life he respects his parents he respects everything automatically you don't have to tell them automatically they know what is dharma is you don't have to tell them that wisdom this great deity of ganesha he took his form as jesus christ and you all accepted him as the lord which is true also but because your ganesh principle was not so much developed in these western countries people took to stupid things this pornography and this kind of uh, interest in nude women shows that there is no wisdom in them there is no ganesha in them. though they follow christ is just a lip service going to the church i don't know if the church also has any ganesha in them. they have no ganesha the way they lead their life nobody can say they have any sense of holiness and auspiciousness <clears throat> as soon as you get wisdom you understand holiness and auspiciousness before that you just call holy father and holy father is doing all kinds of things which can create holes in the organization who takes money bribes creates bombs uh, have women i mean everything how can he be holy so this wisdom part is so important and that's what we should ask ganesha to make us like children children have basically wisdom but not all the children this is the thing is that children in which sri ganesha has activated has put this genetic of wisdom it is there this is one of the greatest things we have to think about is it wise it is sane it's not to be logical logically if you believe in something then you can go wrong because there's no strength from within but innately if it becomes that you won't do it at any cost now you know yourself all the sajogis are so different they behave differently they stand differently they talk differently they think differently they everything is different suddenly has become they have become like that and you can't understand how is it we have become like this 
they were drinking, they were smoking, drug taking, everything they did. But how is it suddenly you changed? Because Sri Ganesha has put this wisdom in you. Now if you see his character, it's very interesting to watch. He's a child and he's entirely dedicated to his mother. He doesn't know any other God, anything else. Complete dedication. But is it so with us? There are also sometimes I find some Sajogis are lacking. They lack sincerity, loyalties. And I'm shocked sometimes at the periphery they are like that. That means they have to ascend still. People who have worked with me, I have always tried to pay them sufficiently. There's no need to pay. Because after all, I have done so much for your building, your body, why should I pay you? But I always pay sumptuously. I look after them, give them come. My, my loyalties to you and love cannot be challenged. But I find them, them being very selfish sometimes, extremely selfish. They'll do half the work, run away. Sometimes they ex they, their problems, their own problems are much more important. Or they just try to uh, find some excuse. So many Sahaja Yogis are also like that. They are not sincere. Sahaja Yoga has given them so much. We have to always find out, are we sincere to Sahaja Yoga? What are we doing for Sahaja Yoga? What have we achieved and what are we doing? On the contrary, they become liabilities on Sahaja Yoga. Ganesha is never a liability on his mother. For example, someone becomes sick, all right, Sir Yoga can help you. Maybe, may not be, may be cured, may not be cured. If they are not cured, then they will say that, see now, I was not cured, I am going to leave Sir Yoga. Then one has to say, please leave. With the slightest thing they go off, not understanding what is important. Then there are liabilities, like somebody gets married, comes here, I don't like this wife, now do what you like. The wife sits on my head and the husband also. <coughs> All kinds of liabilities coming. My husband doesn't do Sahaja Yoga, what should I do? You solve the problem with your husband. You solve the problem with your children. You have the power to do it, have patience, work it out. They'll put us into cases, this, that, it is only Sahaja Yogis who can harm Sahaja Yoga. Can you believe that? Nobody else can touch it. Unless and until a Sahaja Yogi misbehaves, nobody can touch Sahaja Yoga. So we have many cases like that. I mean, they have seen my photographs, they have seen miraculous photographs, they have had realization, everything happened to them, uh, they have been so many times helped, but suddenly they say, I want to leave Sahaja Yoga. Very good. I say, those who have to leave should leave immediately. As it is, there's very little space left in the heaven. And no place for such half-hearted people. They have to leave, they should leave. You have to lie. have Ganesha as your ideal. It should not be that I worship Ganesha. That way you are worshipping Christ, you are worshipping this, worshipping that. But what has come inside you is the point. Have you got Sri Ganesha within you? Are you following Sri Ganesha with the same devotion, dedication? If, but you are made after the pattern of Sri Ganesha. Sri Ganesha was made with immaculate conception. You are also made the same way. Your Kundalini was raised, was given uh, you the realization and you got your second birth and now you are Sahaja Yogis. All these things have happened to you without having a father. If I had not told you that you have a father, you would never have known. Like other gurus, you see, they don't want to give credit to anyone. 
So this actually has happened with you. You are being made in the same manner as Sri Ganesh. Of course, you must be having something, you know, otherwise I could not have made that. That's also true. Supposing the Kundalini was missing, I, what could I have done? <laughs> if not missing, if it was absolutely crooked, if not crooked, supposing there were some chakras which were horribly damaged. So, you were also people just ready to have your realization that you were seeking it truly, that you had the pure desire to become such yogis, no doubt. Still, when the growth is taking place, you must watch, you must see how much sincerity we are giving, with what uh, dedication we are working out. Now we have people who must have gone for postering somewhere, some places. Not now, it's long time back. So they charged me for their coffee also. Oh, I said, all right. Thank God they were not smoking, otherwise they would have charged me. <laughs> so from that level, now we have very much changed. And some of them have become perfect surgeries. But still we have people on the periphery and they get nervous at the smallest thing. Yesterday there was a storm, has to be a storm. You don't know, when Christ was carrying his disciples, there was a very big storm and then he stopped it. Yesterday when you started singing the songs, then only the storm stopped, just to prove that these songs have such power. If such things don't happen, how will you know that these songs have the power? You think you are just singing just because you are singing. No, it has a power, it, these are mantras, these are all awakened songs. And then it stopped. They were saying, should we say mantras? I said, no, nothing, I didn't say anything, what you have to do? Suddenly they thought of singing and it worked out. Because every time if you have to suggest, then when will you use your power? All such incidents take place. Now it was Sri Ganesha's special trick. He is the real judge for it. You must know because you have seen in Sistine Chapel, he is standing there and moving you left and right. So there is a testing point also. In Sahaja Yoga the door is open this way. But there is a bigger door on the back side to throw out people. And the judgment is not done by me so much as by Ganesha. He judges you. And then you are thrown out. Then to come back is very difficult. Even if you come back, you are suspicious of yourself and others are also suspicious of you. So, see, what you have to understand is that this is a judgment point. Introspect yourself, find out. Am I wise? If I am doing this, am I doing wise things? Is it wise for me to do? Is it all right for me as a Sahaja Yogi to do it? Should I do it or not? At every point, you should say. I mean, you know that I don't want any money and I don't want any presents. I have said hundred times, but you won't listen. Now they are saying that, Mother, if you stop giving us presents, we'll stop. I said, you stop first, then I'll stop. <laughs> but despite all this quarrel and fight, there's one thing, definitely there's love and you want to express it. But love here is not attached, it's detached love. When it flows to its greatest extent, takes all the responsibility. There is uh, people, there are people who go on criticizing other surgeries. I've seen it's very common. That's a sign of a very low type of a surgeon. Because he doesn't see what's wrong with him. He's trying to criticize others. Does he see what is wrong with him? There are other kinds of surgeries who do not realize that they are like ganas. They are like ganas. And imagine the ganas, how quick they are. The Ganesha is creating those ganas and they are 
in the sternum bones first and then they go all over the body as soon as this center heart the mother's place starts little bit vibrating they get alerted so we have to be alert is very important that we have to be alert for about 12 years of your age these ganas stay there in the sternum bone and then they go to the whole body because they are matured enough they are kept there till they are completely mature to fight the enemies and they know what kind of enemies they are they know everything what kind of fi fighting is needed what kind of a position is there they will just select uh and they will appoint themselves who should fight whom who should do this but they just don't sit all the time in the mother's house so we have to go to the people we have to go into the virata's body we have to move out we have to go all out without having any fear you have to fight them not to sit at home crying like a baby now you are all grown up people so this is what is written in the buddha's future life that he becomes matraya means he has three mothers in him matraya but also that he goes all out in the society he goes out everywhere and he changes people when you ask for guru pad you don't know you are in trouble guru doesn't sit at home he has to go all out meet all kinds of people tell them about sa yoga not to be afraid you have to live with the society you don't have to have exclusive society where we enjoy bhajans and things that's over now i mean of course we'll always have bhajans it doesn't mean <laughs> but you have to go beyond not only to be involved only in your own problems which are being now solved so only in sahaja yoga but sahaja yogis but you have to go all out meet other people tell them about sahaja the best is to wear badges so people ask who is this then you can talk to them your friends your society you don't have to give up anything don't have to give up anything you are detached you just go and see for yourself this is wrong like yesterday they showed all kinds of things also disco dance they showed it. you should go to the disco and give them the pamphlets show them what are you doing are you mad <laughs> or do this kind of a disco more there so they'll say what's wrong with them then he said we are copying you <laughs> that will put them down you see a lady who is say smoking and this and that standing with a pose go and stand before her with a pose and smoking like this she stop it so by copying them one way showing them what they are another writing you must start writing it's very important to write and answer i must tell uh, that there's a very nice article which has come now with me and the english sir jogi should take it from me and answer the gentleman is very important is in my room i'll give them you must know what's happening all around what's happening in uh, bosnia what's happening in italy what's happening here you should read newspapers you can see television also where well, uh, now when you are mature otherwise if you see television you will go mad like other television people are so what's the use of seeing the television but if you see the television with a detached mind you will immediately get the point where you have to hit otherwise you are sitting in the house nicely covered up mother 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 that's not so ganesha gives powers to these ganas and they fight that's why it's called as ganapati if you want to call me ganapati then you have to like ganas you have to be like ganas who go all out and work it out in so many ways there's so many tricks 
which you can play on these people and try to bring them to Sraja. And with you is this all-pervading power. You should not shun them. For example, laws of your countries are so horrible. Some of the laws are so horrible, the peculiar type. You should write. There's no equity, uh, there's no sense in so many laws that you have, which are money, money oriented, say in France, they have very, very funny laws. And they never maintain the law, they don't believe in it. There's no morals, there are no uh, laws, you write to them. You must go and see newspaper people, tell them about it. Try to now assert yourself. Unless and until you do that, nobody is going to get to surgery. You might get very great people out of that. You can invite some people, you can call them. The modus operandi of these gurus I have seen, they write very nice letters to all these big, big Johnnies as soon as they go to some house. Then they seek interview, go and see that person, talk to him. They carry, uh, you see, sort of a, um, you can say a kind of a, uh, negotiations you can call it, or a, some sort of a panel will go and see them, it's all that level. And then they show them books, see now this is happening, why don't you take to it, we don't want money, this thing, that. You might get lots of people, but you have to invite them, because if, unless and until you invite them, they'll not come to you. So you have to invite them. And you have to tell them that we want to meet you, this is it. Out of at least hundred, if not, at least twenty will reply. They would like to meet you, should say, we found out this, we found out that. So now, today, as Ganesha's Ganas, you have to do this special work, is to understand now you are matured enough, you have to go in the society. Now if you get upset, Mother, I went there and this happened and that, it doesn't matter. You are not going to be crucified, you are not going to be murdered. And do you know there's all the time my protection on you? If you want, you can see a photograph we have, it's uh, him, you can see that. Complete protection. It follows you. You have seen light on your heads. You are the marked people who have going, you are already sitting in the kingdom of God. Why should you be afraid? Why should you not meet people? Then also I said, make some music, like yesterday's I liked the way they were singing, at least you see whatever they were singing, may not be pop music sort or uh, something, but it was clear. The message should be clear, you can use pop style, doesn't matter. But the message should be clear, it should not be, I, I can never understand what they are singing. So every word should be clear cut. We can go all out to have real publicity, but for that we need people who are really mature enough. Otherwise, with the slightest provocation, they get upset, start fighting, finished. Also, we should not say that you are intellectual, you cannot understand. You said you can mentally also you can understand. We can explain to you. Prepare yourself. We can even have some sort of seminars or classes where we can discuss about these things. In the pujas you can have some sort of a, uh, morning time is always free, uh, some sort of a seminar or a discussion or they call a brain trust or whatever it is. And there you can discuss things, how we can proceed, what we can do. Now the time has come, it's over. All this preparation is over, you are prepared for it, now you have to go all out, tell people. You know these people, from uh, this Brahma Kumari, what they tell, now the doom's day has come, you are all going to be doomed openly. And so that you give us money, you will be saved. So now you have to say that this is the last judgment, you take your realization, otherwise you will be doomed. Unless and until you take your realization, without your assent you cannot get out of your genetic problem. All these genetic problems can be only solved if you get your realization. So you have to tell others, get out of your personal problems. Mother, my wife has no children. It doesn't matter. There are so many children in this world, you are doing a good work by not having a child. 
and if you want to have a child you can adopt a child then my child is like this my child is like that my child so much attachment to children i have never seen before marriage if they have children i have seen people treat them better but if they are married they kill their children so many people kill their children abuse their children do all kinds of things but once they are surgeries they from this end to that and they just get glued to their children so there should be a detached attitude towards everything i know attachments then only you will be free but that doesn't mean that you are not doing your duty your uh, nourishment that is needed you have to give love to everyone you have to care for everyone but you shouldn't get it uh, attached i have seen people they get attached even to sajogis one sajogi misbehaved and went out of the sajoga then uh, sajogis went away with him they are not attached to me but to that stupid sajogi he went to nepal he learned some vidya he came back and they went away with him that shows you have not developed your personality how dare anybody influence you and say that get out of sir if you have a mature personality and responsibility you will say i have to do sir yoga work that's the main thing i have to do you must know that though you look ordinary people but god has chosen you if any one of you do not do sir yoga work who will be blamed in every aspect of life one should understand you see i don't say that you give me money or that i don't want anything from you as it is you know how much i am spending but definitely if money is needed somewhere you must go all out to help with money also people will get spend money in say races or spend money on some sort of a pub all that money saved now you don't have to go to a pub nothing so if money is needed you have to spend then another thing is people just start asking you, why so expensive why this why that in sa yoga everybody knows accounts everybody has accounts there's nothing secret where money goes what we are using for how do you have this tent how do you have this land how do you have dolly this thing you nobody thinks like that from where my mother gets money to do all these things i don't need such a big castle do i for what i have already bought another house in london from my own money why this already we have spent so much money for this shooting camp is giving no money at all why i don't need sir you guys it is you people who need and if you start saving money on that also then i don't know what to say to you. it doesn't mean like in the church they say you must give money and all that but your dedication if you have the dedication then you will yourself think that is my responsibility on the contrary you'll say oh you need money all right now school has to be built who has built washi who has built this ganpati pure who has built such a big ashram now you'll see in delhi who has donated money for such so far you all have prospered in life you all have got sufficient money but what are you doing so in this aspect is you have to see that you do your level best for sajo another side is your creativity there have been very great artists who came out of sajo if they have to give any present they'll give the smallest possible the cheapest possible the most expensive one they keep with themselves <laughs> and sell it if they could give even one piece like that we can sell it in the market just for sajo but they'll give something very cheapish which cannot be used it's just adding up to my 
personal archives, but if they give something sensible, it can be so. Then musicians who go abroad, they can give some, uh, their programs and things can make some money. And also, if it is needed, that money can be used. Do you know, we, I just asked once that collect some money for India project, one year in Sastra. I must know that, that there were only 5,000 pounds collected. And I was so ashamed that they are still there as it is in the bank. How can you send 5,000 to India? What will they think of you? Even the school for you, you it is for your children, not for Indian children. But still it will be built by Indians, I know that, or by me. Thus, we should realize that if we are wasting some money somewhere, we, are, we can utilize some money for Sahaja Yoga, we should have some money for our organization. Otherwise, this is how whatever we save on food or anything, that's very little amount. But still, we are managing. Every guru takes money outside first and then come to the puja. Outside. And that too, for real sumptuous one. I don't need any money. Even your puja money, everything you know, it goes into silver. Because you cannot have puja with plastics. So, to understand this, you have to have auspiciousness, holiness. Now, you call me holy mother, but are you respectful like that? Do you know what I am? Ganesha knew. Once his father said that whosoever goes round the Mother Earth first, I'll give that person a present. So, another brother, Kartikeya, he had a nice uh, vahana, a nice vehicle, was a peacock. While Ganesha had just a little uh, rat, a mouse, he could never have competed with him. So he said, who is greater than my mother? She is the greatest of all. What is this mother earth or anyone? She can create so many mother earths like that. So she just went round her and he got the prize. And this Kartikeya was still flying. So that is what it is to understand the auspiciousness. I mean, though I must say I am a Mahamaya, no doubt, it's not easy. You will never know me fully, never. That should not be, because then you won't sit here, you all run away. But despite that, try to understand. As Ganesha has understood his mother, you have to understand. That extent is rather difficult, but still try that this is the power sitting before. How we behave, how we talk, how we take decisions, what we do is all wrong. If this doesn't penetrate into your brains, that means Kundalini has not come there. People could not raise even one Kundalini, one person's Kundalini. Even this artist who came, she said, how can it be possible? I am not uh, so, I have done nothing. I am not a person who is a saint, how can I get realization? She was telling me like this, how can it be Mother? But you all got it, no doubt you have, none of you have doubts about it. And not only that it's happening through me, but you also can do it now. Who, are, who can do this kind of a thing in the history of spirituality? But I keep uh, a kind of a image of myself, I joke, I make fun, uh, I do everything just like a normal mother. Uh, but that should not give you liberties, that should not. Some people have written very rude letters to me, I must tell you, be careful. You can't write rude letters to me, better not. When you suffer, then you will say, Mother, this has happened, that has happened. You have no business to write rude letters to me. And uh, though I read them, and I forgive, no doubt, because you are ignorant, but you must have knowledge. You must understand this, 
that whom are you writing and what you are writing. The side is, of course, we have to see that Sri Ganesha has also a parasha in his hand. He is one of the most uh, strict deity, very strict. Others may little bit hesitate, but he cannot tolerate. That's why Christ has said that I will tolerate anything against me but nothing against the Holy Ghost. Clearly he has warned. Clearly. Because he has a parasha in his hand. And people get punished, no doubt. So this is another thing one has to understand that Sri Ganesha has this parasha. And you two all have this parasha in your hand which you don't know. Anybody who will try to trouble you will be in trouble. But what is missing is the faith. Not blind, but enlightened faith. If you have enlightened faith, then it works. There's one gentleman working in London airport. He's, a, uh, he's an Indian, but I think he was looked after by some Western foreigner people. Very good man. So, he cannot come to programs, he's very busy and all that, he cannot. But if I am in the airport, he knows I am there. Some people try to trouble him. So, he, he said that, uh, don't trouble me, my mother is very strong, you know, and don't trouble me. They wouldn't listen, three of them. And three of them, next day lost their jobs. They said, why? I said, we don't know. The boss told us, you, are, you get out of jobs. We don't know how we lost our jobs. And they, still today they haven't got jobs.
परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सब एक प्रतिभाशाली व्यक्तिमत्व बन जाए श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सब आपके श्री विराट स्वरूप के अंग प्रत्यंग बन जाए अपनी ध्यान धारणा और सामूहिक कार्य की तपश्चर्या से हम श्री आदि शक्ति के एक प्रभावी और प्रभावशाली माध्यम बन जाए परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आज का यह सामूहिक ध्यान हम आपके श्री चरणों पर समर्पित करते हैं कृपावंत तो होकर हम सबको और इस संपूर्ण विश्व को आशीर्वादित कीजिए श्री माँ को प्रणाम करेंगे और सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेंगे आज का यह ध्यान केंद्र यही संपन्न होता है जय श्री माता जी